Mark Crossley, welcome back to the City Ground. How are you and how have you been keeping? I'm really well, thanks, actually. Um, I'm in retirement from football at the moment, so, but I'm on the after dinner circuit, so I'm still involved in some kind and I like to get around watching, doing bits of commentary for Radio Sheffield, and, uh, but it's always great to come back here. Obviously, I spent 12 years here as a player, so every time I come back, it just gives you that little tingling down the back of the neck, you know. So, And I'm getting looked after tonight because I'm in the boxes and I'm getting fed, so I'm all right. <laughs> Coming back here, interacting with the supporters tonight, it must mean a lot to you to be invited back and to see the, the Forest fans up close again. It's, oh, it's nice, it really is nice. Um, I would have liked to have been here Saturday, but I couldn't uh, for work purposes. Uh, but i uh, seen the videos and uh, the atmosphere and it just brought back so many memories watching watching bits of the game that I could on, on, on the phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, nothing's changed, if I'm honest. Uh, it's still the same good old city ground to me, you know, and it's just, yeah, every, every time I come back, when I get invited back, I always jump at the chance. So tonight playing against my hometown club as well. As you mentioned, 12 years here as a player, you must look back at your time here with fond memories. Yeah, I, I mean, this is what set my 33-year uh, football career off, is being here and signing for a certain Brian Clough at 17 years old. So I owe my whole career to Nottingham Forest, so uh, I thank them for that, and that's why I'll always be a lifelong supporter. You mentioned Barnsley are your hometown team. Obviously, we play Barnsley tonight. Where do your loyalties lie? Well, obviously, I don't want Barnsley to get relegated because of my hometown club, and I've, still, and I've got a soft spot. I work there. Uh, Burt, Forest are my club, Forest have always been my club from 17 years old So, and I want Forest to get promoted because it's been a long time since they've been in the Premier League and I think under this new manager here, from what I see, from what I gather and from what I hear, that I've got a little feeling that maybe sneak in the playoffs and maybe get a Wembley appearance and uh, uh, it could be the year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Just to put you on the spot, can you give us a prediction for this evening? Well, Forest are in great form and Barnes are struggling and Barnes are struggling for players. So, you know, on paper, you'd like to think that it'd be a, a, an own win. Uh, but sometimes it, it, there can be the games where you just take the foot off the gas a little bit. After Saturday's derby here, a great performance, I thought, second half especially. I just hope that the crowd can get behind the team like they did Saturday to just give them that lift because it's definitely a stumbling block. Uh, so it's a matter of concentration, patience and uh, you'd, you'd like to think Forrest will, will come out on top in the end.